Kind of ready to be released already. Yeah, those went fast. Wow. All right. Well, uh, oh, these have some more right here. There you go. Sell that. Another static source right there. Three stars. That's great. I never even made a uh, enclosure for these guys yet. So where am I going to put their enclosure? I don't. Uh, hopefully, it's not going to have to be too big, right? But for such small creatures, and it did tell us a specific uh, like fence to use because we had to research it, right? So maybe we can put it over here by the raptors, like right here where this lake is. Maybe we can do that. Let's do it. Enclosures, and we'll do the light cable fence. So uh, we we could update the. Oh, those are rocks, right? Oh, another dead down. Golly, sheesh! Here we go. Small little enclosure right there. So uh, let's actually update this and let's keep that one electrified though. Uh, just because that's going to be, that's literally where raptors are residing, right? Well, let's uh, update this one over here to replace to the light. There we go, and add some fences, or uh, a gate here. That way, rangers can go inside if need be. And uh, now we can move. Oh man, where is this dead dino at? Just so we can get rid of it. Did it get hit? Oh god, it died like right in front of the tour. No! Man! Uh, well, the, like I said earlier, these guys are 50% uh, genome authenticity, so they're not going to have the best lifespan, all that kind of stuff. Of course, the ones we're making right now are going to have a better lifespan and all that. But, uh, for right now, let's actually take these copies to a small little area we've allocated right there. So, uh, request another delivery. And let's do two more. Or, three more, actually. But we can only do two at a time right now, so. Let's do this skin. Incubate. And let's do another skin. I might even do a default skin here in just a moment. If I need. No, I don't think I need to. Yeah. So, it seems like we're fine right there. Yeah, those are just blazing fast right there, so that's great. But I'll have to check here in just a moment if these guys like want more trees, more area, etc, etc. We have to add a, a feeder over here for these guys, though. But I want to check. Oh! When I first envisioned Jurassic Park, I knew there would be endless days and sleepless nights. But we are getting so close now. This contract gets us even closer. Increased facility rating to five stars. We did that earlier on. I wonder what it is right now, because apparently we're not at five stars, I guess? But yeah, $300,000 reward and more reputation with John Hammond. Uh, 4.5. Why would a family want to visit anywhere else? At Jurassic Park, we have actual living dinosaurs. And gosh, they are spectacular, if I do say so myself. We want our visitors to feel the same. Wait, where are these copies at? We just... Oh, they're so small, I couldn't even see them. Look at that. That's what I was saying. They're going to be nipping at your ankles. They're so tiny. Man, request delivery. Yeah, that 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 enclosure over here. I I I might have to get rid of a little bit of water just because that there's just so much water. I haven't I didn't check their like ratings or anything like that. But yeah, let's let's do another remote incubation for the final skin. Uh, there is right there, tundra pattern. There you go. That way we're going to have all five of them. Then we have to build a uh, a feeder, and they have access to water right now. So I don't know why that's not checked right now. So that's kind of weird. Uh, maybe it's going to be checked after we do the five compsognathus comp compsognathus or however you pronounce it. Our little thing, but I do need to click on one at least, and then show dinosaur statistics. Yeah, they're fine with this area, no problem. So yeah, uh, wetland. There's way more. They don't even need any wetland, uh, but you know they have a lot of it. <laughs> Man, look at this. It's so tiny. It's going to slip through the cracks over here. I'm sure. <laughs> Jeez. I might even uh, modify the terrain over here, just kind of smooth it out a little bit if I can. Let's see, flatten, smooth. Yes. So yeah, smooth this out a bit. Yeah, and I don't, I don't really mind that we're getting rid of a, little, a little bit of water right there as we're smoothing out this land. Just kind of a... Uh, there you go, look at this. There you go, so that, that giant lake is now a smaller little pond. Which actually makes more sense for such tiny little creatures. Uh, but we did get rid of... Or add a bunch of... Where in the... Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> yeah, we added a little bunch of grassland right there, so... Yeah, it seems like they're fine with all the comfort, so that's great. Population's good, social's good, food, water, that's all fine. And of course, uh, oh yeah, I want to check the ratings of these guys. What was it? Oh, 93% authenticity, so it's not 100% yet, but... We're losing that guy in the background. <laughs> so it's not 100% yet. Oh, 24 star rate, so you guys remember the Spino? Oh yeah, they have access to water down there, so that's good. But the Spino was like 500 stars. These guys are 24. <laughs> I'm like, they're so heckin' tiny and all that kind of stuff, so yeah. We're gonna have to, uh make a feeder for these guys because they don't have a uh, access to food right now what is that noise there's like spooky music that's like indicating something bad's going on I don't know what it I don't know what it is but yeah the fifth one is finished and ready for delivery so there you go uh, very curious about why this music's playing right now 
<laughs> Hopefully it's not uh, anything bad, but yeah, let's go back to the expedition module over here, continue with the Styracosaurus. And let's go back over here. I don't know if there's a secondary area we can go for the Styracosaurus. Oh, did we finish that uh, dig site right there? So that sucks. So where are we going to go for more Styracosaurus uh, fossils? Oh yeah, we have to go all the way over here and, and, and possibly end up getting you up Lacephalus, Parasaurolophus, or Carithosaurus accidentally, so that sucks. We have to go there to continue getting more Styracosaurus. And that's the only place I could see right now. Ooh. So where else? I guess we can continue with the... Well, Gallimimus is viable now at 54%, so it's going to be a little bit more authentic than the ones that were originally here, so that'll be good. Uh, what are we doing right now, uh, facility-wise? Because right now we're not... We're at 4.5. Visibility could be better. Okay, so yeah, we, we could we could make that a little bit better. Okay, capacity, we could add another hotel for that, and that'll be fine. Restroom rating, 72%, so I guess if we can build another one somewhere and we'll be fine i'm sure but i i am thinking about doing that modification to our dinos or uh to our uh part tour here in just a moment to make sure that you know we have a little bit more room over here and maybe even add a little bit more dinosaur visibility by having it closer to the to the gateways over here you know so that'd be good the fences whatever you want to call it i suppose it would just give us more room like i said to build like hotels for more capacity and all that kind of stuff so that's good do i not build the uh the thing yet i thought i did at least i said it and i didn't do it then huh <laughs> let's do ext carnivore feeder so these things i think you're not gonna have to like reply oh yeah i wanted to build it a little bit closer to the thing right there that way we can see the copies uh closer to the part tour which is like right there i'm like i'm not really too surprised that they can't even see the creatures inside there because they're so heckin' small <laughs> let's uh let's build it like right here and I could, for the memes, I could put a live, oh yeah, let's put a live bait feeder in the Spino area, that'd be good. Although you're probably not going to see uh, them actually hunting the goats from this small little area right here, so that'll suck. But at least we'll have some heckin' goats, like look at this, there's a living goat right there that's being released into this heckin' habitat. <laughs> oh, there's spines of two Spinos back there just ready to heckin' feast on the flesh, the living running away flesh running for its life. Basically imitating uh, nature as much as possible. Although, when are you ever going to see a spino hunting a heckin' goat in the wild, right? Other than here, of course. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue with the expeditions. I don't know if we can do it just yet. Yeah, they're almost done, so we'll be able to do that here pretty soon. But, a little bit of gold right there. Uh, Gallimai was 54% right there with a 3-star. And a, a 2-star, that's going to be great. Okay, yeah, that's going to be up to like 60-something percent. I don't, I don't know if it'll hit 70-something, but that'll be good nonetheless. Big Team is returning right there, though, so that's great. So we can send them back to the Styracosaurus slash Gallimimus area here in just a moment. I do want to check up on the Parasaur, though. How are we doing on that one? It's at 80% right there, so that's good. We, we can make uh, we can make some replacement Parasaurs. That will be great, so there you go. Go back to Gallimimus. There you go. And now we have fossils over here. Oh, a bunch of ambers. Whoa. Because our hands aren't full enough with walking and crawling dinosaurs, now you want dinosaurs that fly? They're reptiles, actually. And just imagine what it would be like to witness them taking flight. Within a secured enclosure, of course. Now, I just need to find Cabot. He seems to have flown the coop. Which these dinosaurs, um, sorry, reptiles, can never do. Like, ever. And you know that for a fact. Right, John? A secured Avery, Dr. Malcolm. What goes in, stays in. But, John... What exactly goes in? <laughs> Alright, research item from the research center, aviary. Okay, so we're going to be researching that and a pteranodon, so... Where are we going to slip that, honestly? Maybe in this area over here, like maybe like right here or something like that. I, I just have to see how big it's going to be, you know, so... Let's see, uh, research center, that's going to be over here at the visitor thing, research module. Yeah, we actually have things to research now, right? And look at that, you can actually see the aviary in there, so that's cool. So let's research the pteranodon. And let's research the aviary. There you go. Oh, look at that. There it is right there. So, yeah, that is going to, that's definitely going to fit in here, I'm sure. I doubt we're going to have to, like, take down any 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 fences or anything like that to make a little bit of room, right? Especially if we, of course, you know, move the part tour and all that kind of stuff I've been talking about lately. I'm sure we'll be able to do that. 4.8 stars right now on the, uh, on the, on the island rating. So that's great. So we'll go down here and check. Eh, pretty good amount of profit. Almost half a million dollars. I remember we were trying to aim for, like, like 300,000 earlier and we surpassed that no problem especially with a spino thankfully <laughs> so there you go iron rating and uh capacity yeah so we just need to build another hotel and we're fine you guys we're going to get that one done so we get it done looks like the aviary is done construct and connect an aviary and i'm sure they're going to want me to get trained on dr grant the aviary research is complete and you believe in the findings as much as i believe in anything here which is to say uh no but the engineers are confident in the design, 
I mean, they were before, too, so, you know, we've got that to fall back on. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll get this Avery built, powered, and connected to the rest of the park. Then we'll be able to have one of Ellie's favorites, available for study and on display. We're doing it, Alan. We're all doing it. Doing what? Proving Hammond right. Oh, no, Aviary. You can incubate and release pteranodons at the aviary, or an aviary. Yeah, that thing's way bigger than I thought, you guys. Holy heck. We might be able to still slip it in that area once we move the uh, the park tour uh, rails, so uh, we definitely want to see if we can do that. And, of course, there's hopefully still going to be room for a, another hotel there when we do that. Maybe even more shops, if possible, because <laughs> the shops we have right now, they're they're at capacity. And if not at capacity, they're going to be at capacity very soon. Anyways, next, you can increase the number of pteranodons that can be supported by an aviary in the info panel. Okay, that's good to know. And storm-damaged aviaries risk releasing pteranodons into the wild. I know all about heckin' pteranodons being released from aviaries, right? So there we go, we got that finished. Uh, reading the little help guide thing right there. There is still so much work to be done. This contract, for instance, is one such example. Increase the guest count to 800 total guests. I'm sure we'll be able to do that, no problem. I don't know where we're at right now. It was like under 700 last I checked, although that, I think that was before we added the copies, right? So I'm sure that gone up a little bit by now. Of course, we have to add more capacity, you know, that way we could have more people. And I'm sure once we have the aviary, that's going to definitely skyrocket the people in the park. So yeah, increase the guest count to 800 total guests. You never forget seeing your first dinosaur, and I want us to share that experience with as many people as we can. Increase our guest numbers so we could do just that. Uh, reputation increase with John Hammond, $225,000 reward. Very nice, that's going to be not too bad. We're at 698 right now, so that's good. It tells us right there without us having to check. And we're at 4.8 out of 5 stars, so... Yeah, I'm probably going to end up getting rid of all the- I guess we'll do this right now, you guys. I guess we'll have to do the modifications right now and shut down the, the park tour. I guess if anything, we could just build another park tour right here. And then shut this- and then connect it up and all that kind of stuff. Because we have to delete this one anyways, so I guess right- Because we can't pause the game or anything like that, I might as well just build this over here. Where would it be? Guests, I think? Mm, oh no, it was uh, enclosures, right? Yeah, part tour right there. Was this one? <gasps> Velociraptor pen. Yeah, well, we already have one of those, so don't need to worry about that, at least for right now. But anyways, right here, might as well build this, like, right on the heckin' edge of the... There we go. Build that, like, right on the heckin' edge of that. And then we're going to connect it up all the way over to here. I think rangers can go... Yeah, I think they can go across the, uh, the part tour thing, no problem. Another dead dino right there, unfortunately, though, so that sucks. But we're going to be making this go right around the spino area right there, so that's going to be great. Of course, we'll be able to connect it up here just a bit for right now. Tour gate. Jurassic Park gate. Should I have it right here? I don't know. I'm like having that one iconic gate back there. Let's see. Oh, it goes all the way up here. I guess we can there you go. have really good visibility. And connect it up right here. There you go. We'll, we'll connect it up here in just a moment. But now we have uh, this thing that needs to be connected up with a path. And of course, we'll take care of that in just a moment. But we have a dead dino I need to take care of. Impair oh, it's a dialo. A dialo died. Okay. There you go. Check on the other dialos and see if they need any replacements for their ratings. Okay, they're fine on the population and socials. That's good. But I may still make a replacement here in the future just because why not? Make them better highly rated, better, uh, more authentic genes and all that kind of stuff, you know? So that'll be good. But for right now, speaking of, uh, oh yeah, there's actually music playing in the background. I didn't even notice they started playing that, so that's good. But yeah, I want to get some Gallimimuses, so 63%. Yeah, sure, why not? It's going to be a little bit better than what we had beforehand, right? So rainforest pattern, sure. Lifespan, which one was it? Right, metabolism, I think? Yep, and it's going to be 41% viability, so it's still going to be a guaranteed uh, incubation, so that's good. Let's get that going. Let's get another Gallimimus going, because I know these guys always want, like, I forget how many they need, but they definitely do want to have a pack of them uh, for their uh, social rating, I think. Don't think I don't notice or remember when my people deliver, because I most certainly do. Which one was that? Oh, a uh, five-star facility. Doing a job and doing it well should be its own reward. But I've decided to give you a little something extra. I hope you like it. What was that? Cameras? What was this cameras thing that we, uh, that we apparently just unlocked? I don't know. I have to go, I have to go see what that was here in just a moment, you guys. But yeah, now we go out to, uh, because I can't pause the game, I'm going to delete this. Deactivate? Yeah, let's just straight delete it. Oh, whoa, 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 that's going to delete the whole thing, I think, right? Yep, that's going to delete the whole thing, so... Let's just delete the paths. Yeah, just delete the paths, like, right there. And right here. Was that going... That's going to delete a lot, you guys. That's going to delete, like, the whole heckin' thing. Holy, like, I don't want the whole thing to be deleted. 
I guess I'll just, uh, to rebuild everything then, huh? Yeah, if I delete this, that deletes everything, so... Might as well just delete everything then. There you go, and then have to rebuild everything then. Sheesh. Alright, well, that's not, that's not gonna be too bad, I suppose. Especially because we're basically starting this thing from scratch anyways, right, golly? But yeah, let, let's continue on. Let's, uh... I guess I have to delete this path right here, maybe. Let's see. Let's put a gate right here. And there you go. Okay, so we have a full track around here now. Another dead dino, man! And the storm has surpassed, so that's good. Uh, close the shelter now. Find out where this dead critter... Another dino. Golly, they're, they're just dying off. These first specimens, the dinosaurs, I mean, they were created with, oh, so many shortcuts. But the whole point of chaos is that it explores every angle, failure upon failure, until eventually it finds the optimal path, even if that path requires bloodshed. So let's stay on task with this contract. Remember exactly what's at stake. All right, well, prevent any power outages occurring for 10 continuous minutes. We've already taken care of that to make sure there's no power outages from our increased power output meme, so. Uh, we, once again, this is probably just going to be another waiting game of uh, whole, 10 whole minutes <laughs> to make sure that, uh, you know, the power outages don't happen. And of course, it, it does happen if a storm comes through and, like, breaks a pylon or whatever. I think that still counts as a power outage. Uh, but I think we should be fine all together. This is a pretty easy one. Just another waiting game, like I said. When the big angry dinosaurs are enclosed by an electrified fence, the last thing you want is the power that supplies that fence going out, wouldn't you say? Dr. Alan Grant and Dr. Ellie Sattler reputation goes up, so that's great. And a cash reward of $300,000. All right. And the countdown's already going, so that's awesome. Total guest count, 375. I'm sure that went down substantially because the uh, the park tour. But, uh, and maybe even the uh, the emergency shelter thing right there as well. But for right now, let's uh, let's let's get rid of this like lake over here. Get rid of this. There you go. Maybe even smooth out the land a little bit. Uh, let's see, make that radius as big as we can, try and smooth this out. And, yeah, it does kind of dip there because of the, uh, the lake that was there previously, so let's definitely smooth this out a bit. That way we don't have harsh, like, plateaus every time we place down a building. And speaking of placing down buildings, we should be able to place down a big old aviary over here, I'm sure, so. Let's actually place that down first, just because of how huge it is. So enclosures, aviary. And where can we slip this in? Yeah, there are a few, uh, like placed down trees that I'll have to get rid of with the bulldozer, so let's get rid of these. Just because those are preventing me from- and I, let's actually clean out these trees over here too. Just to kind of clean out the area and get a better look of how this looks. We could add more- yeah, I have to get rid of that one with the, the bulldozer again. Yep, there you go. We get a better uh, look at how this looks without the trees, so that's good. But of course, we didn't need to do that because the aviary will automatically get rid of stuff. Uh, there's another thing right there. What is that? That was a- like a ground light. Okay, well, we could place another one of those down here in the future. Uh, but for right now, let's see. There's that, I guess. Oh, there's another ground light right here. I guess I'll get rid of that one for right now. I could slip in the aviary right there. That'd be really good, but I don't think I can because it's heckin' huge. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Is that, is that an exit? I don't know if it is or not. I think... Yeah, I think this is just a one-way sort of meme. So, oh, we saw, oh, I could place it right here. Oh, here we go, you guys. Because this is a dead end right here, I guess we could place it down right here and uh, take advantage of this dead end, so that's good. Connect that up immediately. Boom, there we go, noise. That's kind of weird place, uh, weird looking right there, so I guess we'll do this to make it look a little bit more natural. There you go. <laughs> and it's like, right, leave this thing. Leave this thing getting built. It's like being built from the bottom up in like a spiral, which is crazy. I just kind of want to watch it now. Now they're building like the walls and stuff, uh, the walls and the ceilings, and all that kind of stuff. Look at that, it's like spiraling around and stuff. I'll go from the top. Yeah, look at that, it's like spiraling around like a heckin' cinnamon roll or something. <laughs> it looks like a wedding cake right now. Yeah, probably per minute went down substantially. More dead dino. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take care of them. Another, yeah, look at that. Oh, didn't I take care of that dino? I thought I did. Another trike there too. So yeah, they're on their way right now. This thing looks like a big cake or an igloo or something like that. I just want to see what it looks like when it's done. Everything's getting done underneath this thing, and I can't get a sneak peek of it, unfortunately. We're getting rid of the scaffolding now. <gasps> What's it going to look like? Oh, man, look at that! There's like, there's like mountains and, and rivers! Asset concentration in progress. Speed 
I can't wait to see them fly. I hope our guests share your enthusiasm, my dear Dr. Sattler. Pteranodons. Alan, pteranodons. Can you believe it? How many times has that question been asked on this island? It's not how many times it's been asked, Dr. Grant, but how many times it's been answered. Today, Jurassic Park takes flight. <laughs> I like that. All right, well, yeah, and now we have to connect up the tour, uh, the Jurassic tour now, and I guess we could, uh, let's place down the hotel now. Just because there is nowhere else we could place it. Oh, the hotel is, yeah, it's actually a little bit smaller than I, I, I thought it was going to be right there, so yeah. I guess we could place it down, like, right here. And yeah, there you go, take advantage of all the second room, put it, like, right next to the like, aviary, that way you can hear squawks of stuff while you're trying to sleep. <laughs> oh, but there you go. And, uh... Build this around like this. That way we have a lot of room for like more shops and whatever else right there. There you go. And connect up. There you go. The tour is open again. Go on an adventure on our new Jurassic Park tour. All right. Well, there you go. So now we have the Jurassic Tour up and running again. So that's great. And now the total guest count should go up with our new hotels. We have uh, three hotels in here now. So that's great. And I guess we'll check on the facility rating and stuff. See how that's doing. Yeah, poor visibility. That's going to go up here in just a moment. 24 dinos, poor variety. How many do we have? Uh, species, oh man, unique species target. 7 out of 15 right now. So we need to double the amount of species we have right now, you guys. Sheesh. We have the Apatosaurus. I never looked at the Apatosaurus to see, like, is it okay? There it is right there. Another dead... God. Yeah, it needs a friend. Let me check the... Oh yeah, it needs three. It needs to have three for the social group. So yeah, we need to make two more Apatosaurus. Unfortunately, I, I just now thought it. I wanted to check on it a little bit earlier, but I got distracted by other stuff. Of course, that happens way too often. But we do have some Gallimimuses we could put down over here. So deliver them that they've been done for quite a while. And uh, speaking of quite a while, it does take quite a while for the Apatosaurus to incubate. So let's get this guy some friends. I guess he'll step pattern. Uh, let's get a wetland one. $1.4 million. But $26 million in the bank, that's a drop in the heckin' bucket. The uh, coastal pattern, so that's going to be like black or gray or something like that. So that's going to be really cool. And uh, he's going to have enough friends here in just a moment. So that's going to be great, you guys. Nice. No power outages for four more minutes. So that's going to be easy peasy, no problem, I'm sure. Total guest count skyrocketed again. It was at like 300 something. Now it's back up to 400 something. Hopefully, going to continue to go up to 600 and then 800, right? <laughs> How are we doing power wise? 62 unused power, so that's good. I never did modify this power plant to have out of protection improved output 2.0. Ooh. So out of protection. Yes, do outer, out, improved output 2.0, 2.0, and then let's do an in, or outage protection 2.0 right there. Just cover that, because that's going to be a 20% chance of an outage happening. And outage protection 2 is going to make sure that 20% uh, of an outage happening like negates that. And it just kind of evens out. But there you go. Now we have the aviary. Now we can make pteranodons over here. I don't know if we need to do any. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I guess we don't have to like get any fossils forever or anything like that? Maybe. Configure the slots to Tyrannos. I guess, let's see. Configure the amount of Tyrannos that can be housed at the aviary. Each active slot increases the running cost. Okay, so that's, so you can't just, uh, if you want to have a bunch of them, six of them cost 13,000. We could afford it, but I guess for right now, starting out, two, or two Tyrannos is going to be fine. Then, uh, incubation speed, success rate. Let's do success rate. Just, you know, so we have a highly rated uh, Tyrannos there, so that's going to be great. And I think we do have to go uh, fossil hunting for these guys, I'm sure. I doubt we can just make them immediately for no reason. So there you go. Uh, oh, man. We have a... Uh, we're backed up over here. Oh, man. Gallimimus Amber. A star like a source Amber. You up Lacephalus Amber. Nice. Gallimimus 2 star. Gallimimus 3 star. And Gallimimus 2 star right there. Nice. Let's get those nice and researched and stuff. And we have an enclosure over here. Oh, this is it. Okay, cameras for the Jurassic Tour then. Okay, that's what we unlocked there. Er, okay, that's that's good to know. So we research that thing, get that thing done. That way people can take pictures while on the tour, so that's going to be great. I wonder if that's actually going to increase anything uh, in terms of like facility rating and all that kind of stuff, you know? Uh, especially visibility. Because if they're going to be using the cameras, they're not going to be using the binoculars for dinosaur visibility. Anyways, we have a lot of room over here for more shops if we need them, but uh, I suppose right now we could check if we need them. Yeah, there more restrooms, I guess, yeah. That makes sense, because we're at 36% right there, and I think we still have just one bathroom. Which is still, like, all the way over here. Uh, yeah, one restroom right there. Well, it has perfect amount of, uh, capacity right there, but it makes sense to have another bathroom, I'm sure. Dress a cafe. Yeah, I think it literally is just a bathroom, and that's it. <laughs> Alright, well, let's build another one over here, and I'm sure we'll be fine. Because if I check management views right now, bathroom. Yeah, this is red over here, so I guess we'll build another bathroom. Like right here, honestly, you know, it'll be fine. So let's do that. Let's go to guests. 
Let's go to restroom. And we put it like right here. Let's do it like right there. Nice. So once you're done with the cafe, you just go. Yeah, is that even connected? It is at its full. Okay. That's not like physically connected right there, but <laughs> I guess I don't have to worry about uh let's see let's, Is this technically connected here? I guess now it is, so that's good. How about this? I guess I could do the Oh whoa, that's glitching out. A new toilet facility has been added for your comfort and convenience. That's right, another toilet facility. <laughs> Two more dead dinos, golly! More triceratopses. Yeah, man, they are, they they have been dying out hardcore, you guys. I I, I want to check up on the apatosaurus to see how that's doing. That way we can you know you start incubating even more creatures. Man, they, yeah, they do take quite a while. Forty eight or forty seven and forty six right there. Sheesh. So yeah, it's going to take quite a while. But the no power outages thing just hit about thirty seconds right there. So we're going to get that done no problem. I'm sure. I want to go back to the expedition though and see where we get the uh, pteranodons on this. Oh, there it is right there. 0% right there. So yeah, we're going to be starting out at 0%. Another trend on right there, so that's good. So we have two specific places we can go to get exclusively trend on, so that's good. And we just got the uh, the no power out just for 10 minutes thing complete right there. Nice. Anyways, total guest count is continuing to go up. It's up to 520 out of 800 right now. So it's almost fully recovered from us, you know, removing the part Jurassic Park tour and all that kind of stuff, right? So hopefully it's going to be uh, continuing to rise as we add more and more stuff. I do want to check... What else we're we doing over here? Yeah, poor visibility. Hopefully that's going to go up. Let's see. Let's check up on the dinosaur visibility on the management views. There's right there. Oh yeah, yeah. You can see the uh, the big cones right there from people with the uh, binoculars and stuff. Yeah, they get really good view of the uh, the spinos there, dilos. You know what's left of them right now. That is sheesh. And uh, the cameras. I don't know if that has any effect on this. Hopefully whatever cameras they have has good visit or a uh, good zoom, right? Yeah, it seems like they're. Because this started only recently, the furthermost tour trucks, I guess you could say, jeeps or whatever these are, are all the way over here. So they haven't gotten all the way over here. So I guess the dinosaur visibility is going to go up once they actually hit these dinos over here. And then, of course, circle all the way around to see the copies and stuff all the way over here. And even, I guess, the aviary, maybe? I don't know if the, the part tour can technically see that, you know? But I guess just going to the aviary in general will... Uh, Take care of that. But we do have a disease breaking out over here at the Spino, though. But thankfully, we've already researched all... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, let's see. Ranger. Add task. Uh, Medicaid. Yep, there you go. Yeah, we've researched every disease already early on, so we don't have to worry about that. We just go over there, medicate with the stuff we already uh, researched, and we'll be good to go, you guys. Nice. All right, well, release Diagosaurus with 100% genome. I don't know where we're at on that right now. I guess we'll check real quick. Is that 90%? So, yeah, I... I we're working on Tyrannon right now. We just finished one expedition right there. There you go. So we're going to get more star, I guess, worse uh, stuff there. But let's uh, let's see. Paris Rolfus fossil, two star. Let's get that one. Euplocephalus, three star. Get rid of this fungi fossils. Oh man, an ember for the Tyrannodon! Extract the DNA and get rid of the gold. Or, you know, sell, get a little bit of money. That is. <laughs> Tyrannodon, Tyrannodon, Tyrannodon. Three, three stars for the Tyrannodon and an amber. That's a really good head start right there, you guys. Nice. And as we heard in the background while I was talking, no diseased dinosaurs in the park, so that's great. Disease outbreak has been controlled. That's what I like to hear. Anyways, oh, dino- Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Dinosaur- What? Wait, whoa, whoa! Oh, the- the- Okay, I was about to say, like, what happened there? But yeah, the- uh, the- the rangers were over here medicating him and stuff like that. I guess we could kind of help out the rangers a bit by making this not so steep. That way, uh, they can kind of- There you go. There you go. That way they can go up that a little bit easier if they're trying to get in and out of this place after medicating these guys. And look at them, they're still playing around. Look at that. Oh man, another dead dino! Yeah, it's that part of the series, as you guys know. Every every time we play like a new part of the map, or a part of the game, DLC, uh, everything else like that, there's always a part of the, the game where just a bunch of dinos start dying out. Just because... Everything started at at the same time, basically, you know? And everything has, like, a set amount of, like, longevity. Especially when they don't have, you know, full genome. So, yeah, every, everything is just going to continue to die out until we eventually just replace everything with the, the better, more authentic, fully authentic genomes. Of stuff like the Apatosaurus that had 100%, and the Spinos had 100%. And even the Gallimimuses right now that are at a... They're not at 100%, but, you know, a better genome than what they had, uh, like, default in the park already. But anyways, the Apatosaurus, and speaking of such, we can now deliver them over to here, hopefully, uh, is that the Apatosaurus? I th yeah, it is, right there, so that's good. 
So we're going to give that guy some friends finally, so that's going to be great. Guest count all the way up to 618 right now, so that's good. <laughs> Almost 19. Oh, there you go. Now it's at 619, so that's good. <laughs> but yeah, I just have to continue uh, waiting for that number to continue to go up. And we're going to be good, you guys. Okay, visibility. So just like I thought right there, and look at that 632, it continued to go up right there. Nice. But like it, like I said right there, we had to wait for the, uh, the part tour to eventually reach these dinos over here. And uh, the visibility went up, so that's great, guys. I assume it has to continue to circle around and see the copies and everything else, and I, I'm sure we're going to hit, like, like great visibility or whatever that is right down there, right? Yeah, great. So, yeah, I'll, another dead dino. Sheesh. And we need to make, uh, we need to start making some dilos, too, you guys. Triceratops right there. I don't know what the Triceratops is, like, right now in terms of uh, viability. So, I might, or, uh, you know, authenticity for the genome and all that kind of stuff. I guess I can check real quick by checking one of these dig sites. 92, so it's going to be authentic here very, very, very soon. And 42% uh, on the Dranon already, nice. Uh, let's check out the Styracosaurus though, because I do want to hit that one at 100%. And then we could start working fully on the, where was that? Oh, there it is right there, 90% right there. So yeah, it's going, it's going to be a chance of us getting the Styracosaurus there, but yeah, let's continue getting that and Tyranon right there. So that's going to be great. And uh, oh, Star oh man, nice, the Styracosaurus Amber right there, really lucky, I doubt that's going to be, oh man, never mind, yeah, Styracosaurus, uh, three star right there, so that, that's it, that's hitting 100%, no problem, no need, guys, don't need to worry about that at all, can I cancel this? I can't cancel that, but you know, we're, we're still going to possibly get Euopolis, Ephelus, Parasaurolophus, and Carithosaurus while we're there, so, can't really complain about that one, and uh, still nothing there that we can research, because we already researched everything there, so that's great.